and I'm going to show you how it's done the easy way. Couldn't be easier. This is so fun with cheats. Yeah, it's a cheat. I get it. Okay, great. The ultimate review. Next Gen Gamer. Good evening, YouTube. Good morning. Good night. Wherever you are. Next Gen Gamer here. Back with another review. It's been a long time. Uh, I apologize. I've been gone for a while. I actually just had a baby. So, whoop, whoop. Congratulations to me. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but uh, that's besides the point. Uh, I have returned and I will be posting videos uh, regularly. Um, so we have a lot of videos coming up. Uh, there's a lot of requests for reviews for several games. I have it all written down somewhere. Um, somewhere. Uh, but either way, I do have a lot of uh, requests. And um, one of them, uh, one of the requests was a request for uh, some more Kingdom Hearts videos with cheats. Uh, and of course, um, I normally start with gameplay. This time I'm going to start with the codes uh, so that way you guys can get a better understanding on how to do it and how it's done. Now, there's a lot of complaints that it's not working or it's just not not loading the cheats right, CRC is not showing up, things like that. So we're going to hopefully cover that today uh, very quickly, short, short video, uh, just to kind of get some of those questions answered. So uh, some of the questions that I had were that uh, when you're loading the cheats, you're not seeing exactly where it's going to say uh, X amount of cheats loaded. So what I'm gonna do is I already have codes in here for Kingdom Hearts and, uh, and I don't have it up, I don't know why. Kingdom Hearts 2 actually. So give me just a moment here to find the, 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 the freaking thing. I gotta, I gotta figure out how to name these actual Dinatch files. All right, <clears throat> so as you can see, for Kingdom Hearts, I have Mega Elixir. Uh, which does it just as Mega Elixir, but it gives you unlimited Mega Elixir. I, mean, you can, I can change that from one or two to unlimited. That's not going to change the code string. Anything with the uh, with the double uh, forward slashes is ignored by um, the codes. So we, you know what? let's leave it on Lemmy. On Lemmy. So Mega Elixir on Lemmy. Um, power boost on Lemmy. Uh, on Lemmy. On Lemmy. Okay. So. Anyways, as you can see what I have here, defense, magic boost, power boost, um, very similar to what I had for uh, Kingdom Hearts. I had, you know, I had those, um, the, the boost my attack, boost my defense, and boost my AP. So very similar. I like to keep it simple. I know it's a cheat, so you want to probably go crazy, but I don't like to go fully crazy. I, want, I like to have a little, little bit of a challenge. I uh, also, uh, you'll, as you'll see later, uh, when I go to the games, you can see how the codes are in play. I am on the highest difficulty uh, for Kingdom Hearts 2 because I love Kingdom Hearts 2. Especially the, 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 they, they polished up the battle system and made it a little cleaner so than, than Kingdom Hearts 1. Uh, so I, so I, I maxed it out and I literally completely just played Kingdom Hearts, the first one. Beat it all the way through so I can go and play Kingdom Hearts 2. Kind of ramp up. Uh, so hopefully at the end of this year, Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out for PS4. So keep an eye out for that. Um, I'm going to try to do some screen capture for my PS4 to, uh, to get some gameplay of that. Hopefully, we'll see. But either way, moving on. So I have these codes already put in. They're already saved. Um, and of course, what you do when you first get these codes, wherever you get them from. I personally like to go to... Um, I like to go to uh, either BS Free. It's codes without the bull beep. The bull shizzle and uh, our code junkies. Uh, code junkies is an awesome resource. They have a huge list up there. You just set it to PS2, type in, you know, Kingdom Rabbits or just Kingdom Hearts. Kind of, you want to keep it simple, you don't want to put too much detail. Um, and there's Kingdom Hearts too. Very simple. You know, you have one through five pages here. You know, you find the page of what you're looking for. You know, um, you copy the you, you you take the code you want. Let's just we'll just say Power Stone, uh, whatever. You go back to your Omni Convert, which is the first tool you use. Once you hit Omni Convert, you want to go through Input. Okay, whatever you're using, you don't have to use Action Replay. I use Action Replay because it's easy. It's easy to find the codes. So you go to Action Replay, set it to what the standard is right now, which is Action Replay Max. You click it, make sure it's check marked. Okay, then you pull away. Next, you go to output, kind of go down the list here. And then you want to go to unencrypted because 
PCSX2CE uh, converts code in this unencrypted code. Okay, so you want to unencrypt it because an encryption is just a is just a code put out easier, so it's it's readable. Okay, it's readable for the for the user. So G96UTZP5. This thing here, this is an encrypted code. So you want to unencrypt that code into a format that uh, PCSX2CE can understand. So you'll set it to, you guessed it, unencrypted. Don't be foolish and forget to not pick this. So you set standard. After you selected standard um, uh, in the unencrypted from the output, then you're pretty much set. Uh, let's see, that is pretty much it. So you've got this, you got this, input it, output set. Now you just copy and paste your code in. Our stone in the encrypted format with the text exactly how you see here. Just is that way you know what code it is. I mean, you can do it without the text, but I mean, you know, why not? You know, that way you know what code it is. You simply hit convert. Then it brings it over to this unencrypted format, which should normally be one or two lines at the most, depending on if there's like 30 lines of this code here, it normally encrypts it out to a smaller line. It's, it's unencrypting it to a smaller format. Okay, then you simply take this. Copy it, okay, and you simply paste this code over here, okay. Once you've done that, then you simply hit, after you've got your CRC code here, the name of the game, where the cheats are going, as you can see, these locations here, the CRC, very quickly, not to get off topic here, CRC can be found after launching the game, so you want to boot fast or boot full if you want to see the whole intro for PlayStation 2, I tend to skip that. So we're going to boot fast, hit escape or exit out. So it stops, you know, continuing playing the game. So all you need is to run just for a few minutes. And as you can see, it already loaded five cheats from that panache file, uh, DA0535FD, DA0535FD. So you can see it found the cheats, five cheats, and I have one, two, three, four, five cheats because this one's not converted yet, so it's not going to be in there. It's not saved because it, you know PowerStone and PowerStone, you know, or PowerStone's not in there yet. Um, so as you can see, if you scroll up a little bit, depending on if you're using PCSX2 121 or PCSX2 120 or even 11, um, it could be in a different place. So you want to look around a little bit. Normally, it's in this blue text here under System because uh, the system detects the, the virtual disk or the, or the emulator, I mean, I'm sorry, or the uh, ISO, you know, or whatever you're using. And generally you'll see ELF, CD-ROM, blah, 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 blah. You're just looking for game CRC equals 0x DA0535FD. Everything, of course, but the 0x should be copied in as your CRC code. So you will exclude the 0x and copy and paste DA0535FD into your CRC. Very simple, very straightforward. Name your game. I put KH2, Kings for you know, Kick Hose 2, I mean Kingdom Hearts 2. And then you simply hit, you can hit convert if you want. It doesn't save it, it just converts it so you can see that it converts it over to the right format. As you see, it changed from this code here over to a unencrypted or over to a now encrypted version for PCSX2 CE encryption. So I went from this unencrypted format over to an encryption that PCSX2CE understands. But you can see it looks very similar to these. And as, as you see, I didn't put in the, the double forward slash or any of that information. It did it for me. It understood that obviously this line is not a code, the power stone, it's just a text. So it knows automatically to ignore that line. It's like, let's say if you wanted to turn the code off, you don't feel like using codes right now. You don't feel like you, you want to turn the code off. You don't want infinite money or infinite whatever. Uh, you know, your girlfriend's coming over and you want to impress her. Uh, you say, oh, hey, I found 99 of this or whatever. So then you do double forward slash, you hit convert, and it ignores whatever line you have double forward slash on. So let's say I don't want boost, boost unlimited. I don't know why I have boost, boost unlimited. Why? I have no idea why it says boost, boost. So apparently this is AP boost, boost. So I'm just going to leave it. So AB, AP boost, boost is now shut off. You, or you know, if you want that way, you can keep. The, let's say you want to keep your code list in there. You have a extensive code list of things you love, but you don't want to use them all the time. Well, that's one way of doing it. So I'm gonna turn that back on because uh, um, I do like my AP Boost Boost. It's my favorite. It's 
So convert. I didn't save it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm not going to save it because I already have the codes loaded into the game, into the Snatch file. As you can see, it's all in here. Everything is G money. Okay. So um, I'm going to resume because I've already booted the game um, as you just saw a minute ago. So I'm just going to resume and then I'm going to crash PCS62CE because I was doing crazy stuff with it. Sorry about that. I'm going to pause real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so back up and running. Um, took just a few seconds. I don't know what the heck happened, but I guess I was messing around too much. Turning it on, turning it off, minimizing everything. Either way, the game's running, as you can clearly hear. Hopefully it's not too loud. If it is, I'll go back and edit it. Hopefully you guys can hear me clearly. Let me just turn on the game. I love that bell harp sound. Good old Square Enix, hard at work making hot intros. Uh, so either way, so the game runs, as you can see, and I do not have my controller set up. If you guys want to know what I use, personally, I use DS3 Tool, which is the, um, which is, um, it's called, um, if I could freaking remember, Motion Joy. Motion Joy Gamepad to allows me to use my PlayStation 2 controller, uh, or sorry, my PlayStation 3 controller with my computer plugged in and emulates it and turns it into an Xbox or X input, which is the standard input for um, for games. Even the Xbox 360 controller goes into X input, but it does it automatically, it has it built in. So what this does, is this makes my computer think that my DualShock 3 6 axis is an Xbox 360 controller because I just I just prefer the joystick on this controller. Although I must say the the Xbox One controller is pretty damn pretty damn clean. So I've already played past the intro portion of the game. Oh come on, damn it! Am I stuck here? There we go. Didn't enable it. Okay, so I've already played past the intro. It actually has a very long intro. You might see some video glitches like this, like this freaking line here. Uh, very minimal uh, video glitches. Um, I'm running. Uh, PCS62 in, I believe, DirectX 11. Or, excuse me, uh, DirectX 10. I apologize. And 11, 11 is not even out yet. Fool. Um, but uh, I'm running it in 10 with uh, six times the native, so it's nice and crisp. I got half the power for texture filtering. If you want to look at that, you can. I don't need any of this stuff. I have a eight, I have a you know 1080p monitor and pretty damn good graphics card, so I really don't need to boost much of this stuff, and it's, you know, it's an old game, so you do this for games that are somewhat newer, that are, or actually somewhat older, excuse me, uh, this is um, somewhat of a newer game, not as old as the first Kingdom Hearts, so I wouldn't really need all this stuff, this is only at half power just to boost my frames, and what just happened, there we go, alright, so, uh, very quickly, let me load it up, Level 3, 60 money, didn't hack the money this time. I know I'm infamous for hacking money, but I figured what the hell ever. I have unlimited mega elixir. I can just sell those. Um, and let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, and I also had I had this item, the uh, a Criserious Plus, 99 of those. I That code I took out because um, it, ju it just kept looping it and like it would like pop in here like 30 times so i had to go in there and actually delete them uh, i don't know what the hell happened but uh, it worked it just worked too much but as you can see 98 power boost 98 magic boost 98 defense boost 98 uh, ap boost and 98 uh, mega elixir and, and just to show you can see it's unlimited try and go to my quick i love the animation for this so final fantasy Love it. Yeah, you strut that. You strut that energy use, potion use. Okay, so I, just, I use a shitload of them. Um, and it still says, as you see, 98. So perfect. So the code works. Um, I'm not sure if you guys missed a few steps. Please message me if you have any questions whatsoever. I'm always happy to help. I know I've been gone for a while, but Next Gen Gamer has returned. Thanks, guys, and uh, stay tuned for uh, the next episode. Bye-bye.